In this video, we're going to go over factorials. So what is 4 factorial? What is that equal to? 4 factorial is basically 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So 4 times 3 is 12, and 2 times 1 is just 2, and 12 times 2 is 24. So that's 4 factorial. Let's say if we want to evaluate 6 factorial. It's 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now, 6 times 5 is 30. 4 times 3 is 12. And 2 times 1 is 2. Now, we can multiply 30 and 2, so that's 60. And then 60 times 12. Well, 6 times 12 is 72. Therefore, 60 times 12 is 720. So 6 factorial is 720. Now what about 2 factorial plus 3 factorial? Go ahead and evaluate that. And also evaluate 3 factorial multiplied by 4 factorial. Now 2 factorial is simply 2 times 1. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 2 times 1 is 6, 2 plus 6 is 8. And that's it for that. Now, 3 factorial times 4 factorial. We know 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. And 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 3 is 12, times 2, that's 24. So we have 6 times 24. 6 times 20 is 120. And 6 times 4 is 24. 120 plus 24, that's 144. So that's the answer for that example. Now sometimes, you may need to divide by two numbers. Let's say if we want to divide 9 factorial by 7 factorial. What's the best way to do this? 9 factorial is 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 all the way to 1. Well, instead of writing 7 all the way to 1, 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, all of that is simply 7 factorial. And it's best to write it that way because notice that we can cancel 7 factorial. And so if we do it that way, there's a lot less writing. And therefore, it's just 9 times 8, which is 72. So that's 9 factorial divided by 7 factorial. Let's work on another similar example. So 4 factorial times 5 factorial divided by 6 factorial. Go ahead and simplify. Now, 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And 5 factorial, I'm going to leave it the way it is. 6 factorial is 6 times 5 factorial. So I can cancel 5 factorial. Now the 1, 1 is not going to change anything, so I can drop that. So I have 4 times 3 times 2. And 6, I can write that as 3 times 2, which can be canceled. So the final answer is 4. Now what is 0 factorial? What is that equal to? 0 factorial, if you ever see it, is 1. So just keep that in mind. Try this one. 12 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 10 factorial. Now 12 factorial, that's going to be 12 times 11 and then times 10 factorial. 3 factorial is going to be 3 times 2 times 1. And let's cancel 10 factorial. Now 3 times 2 is 6. And 12 divided by 6 is 2. So we got 2 times 11. And so the final answer is just 22. And that's it.
Now sometimes you might be given an algebraic expression with variables as opposed to real numbers. So let's say if you want to simplify the expression n plus 1 factorial divided by n factorial. How would you go about doing it? Now let's say if n was 7. That means we would have 7 on the bottom and n plus 1 will be 7 plus 1 or 8 plus 1. What would this simplify to? Now let's say if we had if n was 10. That means n plus 1 will be 11. What would 11 factorial over 10 factorial simplify to? Let's see if there's a pattern. So 8 factorial is simply 8 times 7 factorial. And so we could cancel 7 factorial. So when you're writing out a factorial, the next number is always going to be 1 less than the previous number. So for 11 factorial, it's going to be 11 and then 1 minus 11, or rather 11 minus 1. That's going to be 10. So that's the next number in the sequence. And so we could cancel 10 factorial. So 8 factorial over 7 factorial is just 8. 11 factorial over 10 factorial is simply 11. So it turns out that it's equal to whatever this number is. And that number is n plus 1. So this should simplify to n plus 1. But now let's see if we can get that same answer algebraically. So n plus 1 factorial, that's going to be n plus 1. And then 1 less than n plus 1 is n. 1 less than n is n minus 1. And it's just going to keep on going. Now, n factorial is going to be n. And then 1 less than that is n minus 1. And that's going to keep going. So we can cancel n minus 1. And we can cancel n. And so we're going to be left over with simply n plus 1. And that's the answer. Here's another one that you could try n minus 1 factorial divided by n factorial. What does that simplify to? Now, n minus 1 factorial is less than n factorial. So I'm going to rewrite it like that. Or we can take the next one. 1 less than n minus 1 is n minus 2. n factorial is going to be n, and then 1 less than that is n minus 1. And 1 less than that is n minus 2. So we could cancel n minus 2 factorial. And we could cancel n minus 1. So therefore, the answer is going to be 1 divided by n. Now let's illustrate it with some examples. So let's say if n is 8. That means n minus 1 or 8 minus 1 has to be 7. So 8 factorial is going to be 8 times 7 factorial. And we could cancel 7 factorial. And so we get 1 over 8. So since 8 is n, notice that we get 1 over n. Try this one. n plus 2 factorial divided by n factorial. So n plus 2 is the larger number in this case. So it's going to be n plus 2. And then 1 less than that is going to be n plus 1. And then if you subtract that by 1, you get n or n factorial. So we could cancel n factorial. And we're going to be left with n plus 2 times n plus 1. And that's the answer. So let's say if n is 8, like before. n plus 2 would be 8 plus 2, or 10. So this is going to be 10 times 9 times 8 factorial, divided by 8 factorial. Now, 10 is the same as 8 plus 2. And 9 is 8 plus 1. So notice how it's similar to n plus 2 times n plus 1 where n is equal to 8 for that particular example, since we had that on the bottom.
so this is the final answer for that expression. Now let's try one last example. 2n plus 1 factorial divided by 2n factorial. Now what's 1 less than 2n plus 1? If you subtract it by 1, the next number will be 2n because the 1's will cancel. So this is going to be 2n plus 1 times 2n factorial. And we already have 2n factorial in the bottom. So these can be canceled. And therefore, the final answer is just 2n plus 1. So now you know how to simplify factorial expressions. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, though.